guys. Today we're gonna make princess dresses. One, two, three, and four dresses. First dress is for Elsa, and her dress is gonna be green. So I found this dough and it feels like slime but it's super awesome to mold so let's try this first i'm gonna give elsa a little stand remove her old dress and then we're gonna put her in this really cool base And now we're gonna work on her dress. So I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna stretch out this dough and make the skirt of the dress really big. And then shape it the way I want it. Oh, this is looking really, really good. Let's take a look in the back. Whoops, that does not look good. We're gonna work here. And it's looking a little bit better. Now, let's turn again. And I want to give this dress some really cute details. To finish Elsa's dress, I'm going to use some sparkling pink Play-Doh. That's going to be the top part of her dress. She needs to turn her head right there because of her hair. And then turn back. Arms up. So here I have the top part and it's looking really cute. Now using a stamper, I'm gonna give her dress some pink flowers and maybe a butterfly. So that's the first flower right there. Let's remove from the stamper, just like that. Oh, that's a pretty flower and place it on her dress easy huh now i want to give her a butterfly this butterfly is so cute oh yes now that is very pretty we can also add some other little details, like you can make your very own flowers, just shaping and doing different size balls, just to give her dress more color. Now to fix the back of her dress, I'm gonna use more sparkling pink play-doh and i'm gonna stretch out this dough and make it a little bit wavy so we can place it in the back and that's gonna be the back of her dress You see? Now, isn't this pretty? It's a Play-Doh dress. Wow, that's so pretty. 
time to make a dress for Belle. Remove her old dress. Oh. First, we're gonna have to open this dough. Wow, this dough is so satisfying. I love the sounds. Give her a base. Let's see if she's nicely in place. Oh yeah. Oops, she's almost falling. Now let's give her a dress. Stretch out this dough. I'm gonna stretch it out really good. Cause I'm gonna work on it as if it was fabric. Let's see if I can do that. If it works, it's gonna be so pretty. Let's see. Oh, this dress looks pretty already. So with the yellow dough, I'm gonna start by giving Belle Kind of like a belt. Maybe I can make like a bow in the back. I'll just leave. Oh, I can see her back side. Let me add some extra dough in there. Stretch it really, really good and put it in the back. Now it looks like a detail from the dress. Now I'm going to make some flowers. This bell doesn't really want to stand up, but her dress is coming out super pretty. Yep, it's a pretty dress. I like it. Bell. Time to give Rapunzel a dress. And her dress is gonna be pink. Wow. I love this shade of pink. And her pink dress is going to go all the way up. Arms up. Oh, I like this dress already. 
Look how the dough just folded on the sides here. And it looks like I made it on purpose, which I didn't. Can you see? So pretty. And I like how it folded in here too. So now her dress needs some flowers. And I just love mixing blue and pink. So I'm gonna make some blue flowers. Blue doll. Gotta fix the flower a little bit here. And we can give her dress some different details. Like the strings here. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty. And then another beautiful blue flower. Just like that. Let's see in the back. Hmm. Looks good enough. And that's it, Rapunzel's dress. Now let's make one more dress for Cinderella. Her dress is gonna be purple. Out with the old dress and here she comes Cinderella because Cinderella doesn't have long hair it's easy to make her dress Well, her hair is in, in a bun, so it's not like she doesn't have hair. What if we made it kind of like this? Let's see. Let's just see what happens. Oh, that's different. I like it. Now for her dress, we're gonna give details in a darker purple. Top part will be with this darker purple. And then we'll see what else we can do. Oh, that's so pretty. Let's stretch this dough here and put it in the bottom, the bottom of her dress. Okay, now we're gonna give her some yellow flowers. I just love these Rapunzel flowers.
Now let's give Cinderella a little detail on the top of her dress. I like it. Let's take a look in the back. Whoops. I still need some more dough in the back. Let's stretch out the rest of this yellow that I still have in here. And put it in the back. Oh, that's better. And that's it. Cinderella's dress is done. Isn't it pretty? Rapunzel, Cinderella, Belle, and Elsa. All with new dresses. Well, guys, thanks for watching my videos and stay tuned for a lot more Play-Doh creations.